guys and welcome to a type of video that I haven't done in quite a while, about half a year actually, an update video or a lab report as I sometimes call it at least. And well I'm sitting at this weird desk here and some of you already know what this is about but others who haven't been following me for a long while probably don't so let me grab that camera and show you what this is about. So it's basically a computer desk slash console with computer parts inside, a motherboard, power supplies and so on and then well screens integrated into this angled front panel here that is part of an enclosure which by the way is not yet completed that's why there are gaps to the left and right we will have kind of you know shoulders stretching out here in weird polygonal, polygonal shapes where panels will be installed with LED effects and connections to power supplies and so on. So this will basically be um, a mixture of a computer desk that I will actually use for work, um, stuff that is integrated into the panels that I will use for electronics work and it also supposed to look like kind of a film set. <laughs> yeah I know it's a, a lot of stuff uh, in one idea but let me tell you how I got this idea and why I think it's actually cool. So about two years ago I played uh, the video game Alien Isolation which I totally recommend one of my favorite video games of all times and that video game was dramatically plot wise, um, design wise, aesthetically and so on heavily based on the first Alien film Alien 1979 uh, as it's also known and well in that game um, th there was one level of course that played on the Nostromo the actual spaceship where the movie Alien takes place uh, of which I have a bunch of concept drawings and actual pictures of the film sets here in this uh, great book here the Alien Archive and the game played on a space station that was also very similar looking and I thought that the film sets looked so cool that I really wanted to build something similar here in my shop for myself. And especially in the Nostromo, or, or not in Nostromo, but in the Sevastopol station, they had like these actual office desks um, that had this swept shape to them. That's where I got that. And then angled screens of course CRTs in that case so what I did here is basically to make my own concept drawings that were what well, at least to a part based on that video game it's an it's a whole assortment of different ideas so I basically got the idea then I thought about alien right away but then I also had other ideas how you could integrate computers into desks and make that look cool one of the earliest ideas was really just to take an ordinary office desk then put a piece of glass into it and then integrate the computer meaning the motherboard, the graphics card, the power supply and so on into the desk then light that with LEDs and well basically use that as a cool looking effect that you could actually see the computer uh, lighted by LEDs. <laughs> it's really that. Um, and I kind of riffed on that uh, idea at like at least five different five different similar concept drawings for that and then I went more into a retro futuristic direction that looked more like the stuff you would know from 2001 a space odyssey or alien and there was the idea that you could use a modern computer with a modern flat screen TFT but kind of try to make that look like, an, like a CRT and then here in this concept drawing I just added a bunch of meters kind of a lazy idea but that was just in order to make it uh, look more more steampunk or whatever another one of the early ideas here is one where I actually thought about having a screen here in the cabinet and then another screen integrated uh, into the actual work surface another early design and this is basically what I ended up with more or less trying for the first desk that I'm actually building now 
So what I wanted to have is one actual CRT, in this case an old television. And it is working, I repaired this a couple of days ago. It takes a minute to warm up. But well, we'll see nothing but noise of course, because there are no TV stations anymore broadcast uh, with that analog technology. But if you have an RF modulator, you can connect any type of video device that has composite video to this, for example, um, the Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, uh, the GameCube, and well, many other things, a PlayStation, for example, or even a Raspberry Pi. And I've actually shown you how to do that in past videos already. And uh, if you're interested in that, there is a video in the video description. So one CRT TV, okay, just um, an old fashioned TV integrated into one of the panels. This will then be well, smoothed out a little bit and then painted white, white or um, bright gray, like all these things in the old movies usually looked. And then next to it, I have a modern TFT screen with a recent, well, more or less modern computer. And I tried to, I just glued that to a piece of plywood and I tried to round the corners to make it appear a little more old fashioned. The next step then is to add this type of well frame or hood or guard to it it's like a, or it's like actually like a sunshade and i think that that would make that look uh, even more old fashioned so again don't get distracted by the fact that the front panel alone is made from three different materials this is just scrap wood okay but it'll be covered um probably with aluminium sheets you can see them over there and those will then supply an even surface that will be spray painted white or gray and then we'll probably also have some markings on there and i'll add a couple of more well just jacks and switches and meters and stuff so um this was kind of a design idea but it is also totally an upcycling idea and it came uh, for years i've been thinking what can be done with crt monitors because crt monitors be it TVs, um, studio monitors, or PC monitors, old computer monitors. They're basically worthless. You can buy them for, <laughs> people will give them for you to, to, for free sometimes. And um, well, that's basically what I did. I drove around town and I collected a bunch of different devices with CRTs, like black and white television from the 1970s, Portable color television from the 90s. There's a radar scanner um, Sent here from America from one of the viewers. Thank you very much again for that. You're great. You know who you are and uh, Sony studio monitor. These are portable black and white um, CRT televisions made in a pseudo military style back in the 70s have a bunch of those now actually because I really like them. Then these really cheap, rather modern portable televisions, cash register screens, an Atari screen and so on. So for all of this stuff combined, you wouldn't pay more if you're doing it right than like maybe 30 or 40 bucks. And this would be enough for, I think a lot of set pieces that could look like the stuff we've seen on the Nostromo. Uh, then again, CRTs alone don't really well make the design you need more than that and that is why I came up with these LED effects I tried to do it with unusual LEDs so that it wouldn't look modern really and well a couple of months ago I made videos about this already you can find links in the video description about the uh, LED matrices that I built here and these other LED effects that I kind of tried to integrate into more old-fashioned looking lamps and optical devices to make them more retro futuristic and I didn't stop there I tried to collect as many old lamps and similar things from the 60s and 70s that could be used for these optical LED effects like this tanner here and these infrared lamps and these slide projector viewers or how whatever you call them and the idea here now really is to take these things that already basically look like rocket ships um, and well combine them with modern LED technology 
and then kind of incorporate them into these things that should be used, uh, should look like these old fashioned um, props or set design things. Um, so let's take a closer look at how I am planning to do this actually. So the first and maybe the most important piece is an actual desk. I got that for free from an, from an attorney's office about a year ago. I used a jigsaw to cut it into the shape that I kind of saw in the Alien Isolation game with some of the office desks. And then I used aluminium sheets um, in order to make this desk much, uh, make, make, make it look much thicker. This will all be painted in the same color as the desk surface itself. But because the desk itself is not big enough to also support the screens, uh, I kind of integrated it into this wooden frame that I built from construction wood. And this is basically like a shelf or like a support that holds the computer, for example, and then these angled pieces here that hold the front panel and those in turn hold the screens. The idea here is that they are still serviceable from behind while also being glued to the front panel. So that is what that is about. Then um, these MDF and other thin plywood materials will be used to close the gaps to make um, this look uniform and monolithic and well, make it impossible to see that it's just a bunch of construction wood, actually. So all that will be painted white or gray as well. So that's really what I've been working on over the last week. And in the coming week, I will now try to use the wood parts that you see over here, basically all scrap wood, the aluminum and so on. And my light effects are already prepared to finish the design, paint it, and then I will present it in a video of its own. In the future, I want to build one or two more of these, all kind of different in shape, and they I want them to look cool, but also to replace my workbenches, basically. So I will try to basically integrate myself, build devices here into similar designs that kind of look like on a spaceship. And well, it's just, uh, I thought it'd be cool to have that. I'd be, well, will put a smile on my face every time I come in here. So <laughs> very selfish reason, I know, but I thought it'd be a cool project. And um, that is something though that I will take my time with. And for those of you that have been waiting for that for a long time, I actually, after this is finished, want to go back to electric motors and electromechanical stuff, my robot projects and so on, get on with those, you know? But I guess the next video Hopefully it will then be about this finished desk and I hope that you like this and if that's the case then give this video a like and see you soon guys.